Is it the perfume? Dang! I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna get the perfume because if it's making people's faces like that, then we ain't trying to do that. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Cami, and on today's video, I'm going to be doing a couple of reviews on some new perfumes that I was gifted. Um, if you guys don't know who Sunny Sense is, you're sleeping under a rock because she is like the queen of description when it comes to perfumes, y'all. And she has been so kind to send me some sample perfumes for me to try because she's just a sweetheart so today i'm going to be testing these different perfumes out you guys now i will leave a description down below for you to follow her channel because i promise you if you're into perfumes or if you don't really know anything about perfumes you want to get into perfumes she is the girl to go to she's like the perfume guru when it comes to describing perfumes i i promise you she is so definitely go follow her you guys yeah, I literally just got back from New York. My husband and I went to go visit his sister. That's a little side note. So I've been trying to post um, a video of everything um, when it comes to our trip to New York. And literally, for some reason, it's not posting. So I'm making this video after I just got back from New York. Hopefully, that video is posted sometime soon. I don't know what's going on with YouTube. You guys let me know if you guys are having trouble uploading videos. So your girl can know but without further ado you guys let me stop rambling and get into this video so i have my laptop here you guys i'll be looking at the notes um and then letting you guys know what's in the perfume i'm gonna start with two new perfumes that i picked up from burlington the other day you guys i have been a fiend for perfumes but not just any type of perfume. So I've been into perfumes now for just a little minute. My main perfume that I wore back in the day was either Dolce & Gabbana or the Aqua Di Gio. Those are like the only two luxury perfumes. And I wouldn't even consider those luxury at this point anymore. So I've been like obsessed with perfumes, not obsessed, but really just getting into the different scents out there. And I love watching perfume videos. So that is like my current go-to YouTube videos watching right now is just perfume 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 okay so anyways you guys um i went to burlington the other day and i picked up these two perfumes i have the michael kors which one is this i think this is the glam jasmine and then i have this one right here this is by hollister it's called festival night and these were blind buys because obviously you can't smell the perfumes at those department stores because they're all packaged up. What I usually do is I just look on Google before I pick it up to see the notes, to see if it's something that I would be interested in. So I'm not completely going blind when purchasing the, the items. I saw that these, these had some notes that I felt comfortable with. So starting with this, the Hollister um, Festival Night. This is a sweet vanilla fruity coconut powdery floral soft spicy citrus lactonic perfume the top notes in this is coconut mandarin orange pink freesia the middle notes are black currant orchid apple blossom and the base notes is marshmallow vanilla and amber so when i saw the notes in this immediately after i saw coconut i was like oh gotta get it because I've been on a trip for coconut perfumes lately so i um, going ahead and spraying this the itemizer is trash um, but the scent y'all usually with these cheaper perfumes you literally have to wait a good minute before that alcohol dries down and you get the actual scent because let me tell y'all these little this was only 9.99 these cheap perfumes, they smell amazing, but the opening is literally straight up alcohol. And if you sniff it from the bottle, I don't know, it just smells like a cheap perfume. I mean, it is a cheap, cheap perfume, but anyways. So, I sprayed this yesterday, y'all. I actually sprayed both of these for my husband's smell. He hates this, and he loves this. So, this one right here, y'all, the coconut, you definitely get the coconut in the opening for sure 
let me see you get the black currant that fruitiness and then of course the dry down I'm getting the marshmallow and vanilla I've never had a perfume with marshmallow in it and I don't know if I'm just that type the only type of girl I'm pretty sure other people feel the same way I do but when it comes to like me hearing marshmallow in a perfume I just automatically think it's gonna be sweet I don't want it I don't want it but this actually smells yummy my husband loves um, sweet fruity scents so I will most definitely be wearing this around him. Y'all look at my eyelashes. Anyways, that's irrelevant, but this smells really, really good for $9.99. This smells amazing. The longevity on this, when I sprayed it yesterday um, on my skin, it lasts for about an hour or two. On my clothes, it lasts for probably three to four hours, maybe five. But this is just a generic perfume. It smells really, really good. I definitely would suggest purchasing this. Um, if you're looking for something like cheap and easy grab and go, and you could just throw it in your purse and just spray away. Literally, you could just you could just spray away because it's only $9, so you're not losing anything. But very beautiful. This is the 3.4 fluid ounce for $9.99, y'all, literally. I love Hollister scents. I love Hollister and McCormick Fitch. They just smell uh, amazing. But the longevity, of course, is not is not it. But if you're looking for a quick smell good to go to, like to the park or go to the grocery store or something like that, definitely these perfumes are definitely worth it. So festival night, I would give it a eight out of ten, only because of the longevity, y'all amazing now this one right here you guys the glam jasmine by michael kors the only reason why i picked this up is because i have been on a trip for jasmine so i've been on a trip for coconut and for jasmine and i saw immediately I actually got this from ross so i got this from burlington and then i got this from ross um and immediately when i saw this for 24 dollars, i was like girl go ahead and get that because it has jasmine you know what i'm saying it's just gonna automatically it's gonna smell good y'all when i tell you i sprayed this yesterday my husband said you really like those grandma scents and i ain't gonna lie this one kind of smells like a grandma it almost smells like my gucci bloom almost but it doesn't have that um what is it the french and pea all right so this right here is your basic white floral um it literally has jasmine white flowers cassis and sandalwood like that that's it so cassis is in the group of fruits vegetables and nuts apparently and it has a characteristic of green and ammoniac scent reminiscent of cat pee yes cat pee so let me go ahead and spray it and refresh my memory of what it smelled like i used this as my scent of the night last night and y'all my husband was disappointed <laughs> i tried to spray this afterwards but yeah. oh i'm sorry poop. i just hit christian let me go ahead and spray this let's look at the itemizer the itemizer is okay for this perfume so immediately you just get a bouquet of flowers a bouquet of white flowers i would say like lilies gardenia it doesn't have gardenia but i get that gardenia it smells it smells good like i don't know if yesterday i just had a lot of perfume on and i had sprayed it on myself but it smells good so the longevity look the longevity on this is like a seven out of ten doesn't last long at all maybe a six out of ten um, the performance on this is great when you first spray it. Like I said, this was my scent of the night last night. So I took a shower and I sprayed this. I put my lotion on and then I sprayed this. And I walked past my husband and literally he was like, oh, you smell good. I was like, it's the perfume you don't like. Like, <laughs> so anyways, apparently it smells good when you first spray it on. And then like when it dries down, it literally just like withers away to where it's like you have to literally put your skin up to yourself to smell it so but yeah this right here i would give this like 
I want to say 7 out of 10, but I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 only because I love jasmine and you definitely, you definitely smell the jasmine in this, y'all. I promise you, you smell the jasmine in this and the bottle is just so adorable. But as far as that cassis goes, I think that's what I'm smelling. Yesterday, so yesterday I was smelling something off. Like it smells like my Gucci Bloom, but it's just something totally off about it. And I think it's that Cassis. And apparently Cassis is reminiscing of cat pee. So that's all I got to say about that. All right, you guys. So now we're going to get into the perfumes that I was gifted by my girl, Sunny Sense. Thank you, boo. She gave me a whole bunch of perfumes, y'all. Literally a whole bunch. Like this has got to be the sweetest thing like look at this all these are samples and we're getting ready to talk about it so let's just go ahead and dive right into it let's not waste any more time so the first one i have here is the dolce and cabana the one so let's look up the notes on that so i'm sorry you guys this is dolce and cabana the only one okay so this is the um amber bottle or amber liquid one as you can see um so the main accords in this is caramel sweet powdery vanilla violet coffee warm spicy citrus iris and fruity so a lot of women have said um that this is like a very fall type of scent um because like i said i love watching perfume videos so the top notes in this is violet orange bergamot the middle notes are coffee pear iris orange blossom rose and the base notes is caramel vanilla and patchouli so i sprayed this on my leg last night because well i don't know i've been spraying this um since doing this video but anyways you guys let me go ahead and spray this again here oh my gosh this smells so good Mm. so the paper doesn't do it justice when i sprayed this on my skin last night you guys i promise you if you ever want to get a perfume you're in the department store spray it on your skin you're not going to get the full full results you're just going to get something that you're not going to like i promise you this smells so delicious creamy and sweet and i love it definitely getting that caramel and vanilla like instantly getting the base notes getting that orange a little bit of the rose this right here I would give it a 9 out of 10 but I feel like I would only wear this in the cooler months because I just feel it'll be just too much for the summertime so Doja and Cabana the only one is an 8 out of 10 for me moving right all right so the next perfume you guys is by the line mugler and this is the angel you crossier i believe that's how you pronounce it this was released in 2020 the main accords is sweet fruity woody patchouli vanilla floral lactonic warm spicy so um the notes in this is fig nectar, praline, patchouli, vanilla, and magnolia. So this is definitely something different for me. So let's go ahead and spray it and see what we think about it. And the liquid is the blue one, so FYI, because I think there's two different crociers. test paper is so small okay this smells this smells really good I'm almost getting kind of a masculine feel to this perfume but it smells really delightful yeah I'm almost getting like a cologne type of vibe from this perfume um I get the praline in the in the nectar the fig nectar and the vanilla I feel like I need to spray a little bit more because that wasn't okay there we go mm. so 
so Mugler has phenomenal perfumes um, for those who like um, very strong perfumes. And so this right here is definitely a powerhouse to me. It's very beautiful. I would definitely wear this. Most definitely. I would also wear the Dolce, like I said, the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, I would wear that in fall. And then this one right here, the Angel, Angel uh, Crocier. I would wear this. I'm almost getting like a spring, summer type of vibe because it's, it's light. It's a light powerhouse. So it's very light. It's nothing heavy like the Dolce & Gabbana, but it's enough enough smell to, to make it a powerhouse so i would give this an 8 out of 10 as well most deaf okay moving right along you guys the next perfume that we're going to be um rating is the montelay montelay chocolate greedy wow i've never heard of this like i said you guys sunny scents has the most unique perfume description she, she gets the perfumes and then she describes it in such deep, descriptive, woo, child. Anyways, let me go ahead and look up the notes on this. This one right here, you guys, the main accords is vanilla, cacao, warm, spicy, sweet, coffee, citrus, powdery, and fruity. The fragrance notes is, like I said, cacao, vanilla, tonka bean, coffee, dried fruits, and bitter orange. So off rip, I automatically think winter. Anytime I hear a fragrance that has like coffee, um, tonka bean, you know, cacao, I automatically think winter scent. But let's spray it because I don't even know what this smells like. Mm, I can smell the chocolate already, you guys. <laughs> I smell the chocolate already and I'm like loving it because I love the smell. I love chocolate. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like I feel like if I wear this perfume that I'm going to want to eat myself. Like that's how good this, this is something totally different from what I'm used to. I'm used to floral fruity you know type of fragrances but nothing like like this this is chocolatey oh my gosh it smells like it smells like a candle like you know those vanilla candles that you burn during those winter months and it's just so warm and cozy and just it smells like you're baking some cookies or some chocolate chip cook oh my sunny girl oh my goodness thank you for sending this now I have seen like because based on the bottle I've seen people review the Montelay, I think that's how you pronounce it, perfumes and they have they speak very highly of these perfumes, of his perfume line. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys. So I definitely get that warm, sweet, oh my goodness, this is this smells delicious. I give this a, a 10 out of 10, legit. A 10 out of 10. I would wear this. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to think of the body spray that it reminds me of. You know those Bath and Body Works sprays kind of resemble some of the perfumes. I'm trying to think of the body spray. But I can't put my... I want to say like... Um, I think it's called Vanilla Caramel. Caramel Vanilla. I don't, I don't know, but this smells delicious. Oh my gosh, yes. So that Montelay Chocolate Greedy gets a 10 out of 10 girl period all right you guys the next perfume is a niche perfume that a lot of people talk about this is the dior pure poison the main accords on this is white floral citrus and woody all faves of mine the top notes is jasmine automatically love it Orange, bergamot, and Sicilian mandarin. The middle notes is gardenia and orange blossom. And the base notes is sandalwood, white amber, cedar, 
in white musk y'all i automatically feel like i'm going to fall in love with this perfume now I've, I've heard a lot of women talk about this perfume and i think the um just the poison one it, the red bottle a lot of females love that i've smelt it i don't like it i feel like it smells like play-doh but it could just be me i'm not the first person to say that so anyways let's go ahead and spray this pure poison honey and see what it smells like okay y'all legit legit okay i'm not gonna lie to you this dior pure poison smells like this right here the dior pure poison retails for about what 100 bucks or less or maybe like 80 to 100 bucks depending on the fluid ounce i paid 24.99 for this and the dior pure poison wait a minute hold on one second because the dry down is kind of making me feel y'all i love this this dior pure poison 10 out of 10 for me only because i love jasmine I love gardenia and I love white florals so this Dior Pure Poison gets a 10 out of 10. I may have to pick pick that up when I run out of my Gucci Bloom. Oh my goodness. Now I will say that um, I, I believe the Pure Poison is an Oud de Toilette so mm, I, don't, I don't really mess with toilettes you know what I'm saying. The only toilette that I have is my Dolce & Cabana light blue only because I just love that scent and it reminds me of my mommy so you know that perfume and the aqua de Gio both remind me of my mom because those are her um signature scents but oh this smells so good yeah dior pure poison gets a 10 out of 10 for sure like i said i love floral scents especially jasmine and it has gardenia in it so I've been living under a rock. I've been trying to find a perfume that has gardenia in it. So, thank you, Sunny. <laughs> All right, the next perfume, you guys, is from the line Burberry. This is Burberry Body, bleh, Burberry Body Tendre. That's like a tongue twister, not really. All right, you guys. So, I've seen a lot of videos on um, women talk about this particular particular perfume and so the main accords is powdery woody musky rose floral fruity amber aromatic iris vanilla um you guys i'm looking at my laptop like i said i'm, I'm on fred for grantica that site has all the perfumes with the description listed and then there's tons of reviews for you to see so that's what i'm looking at Um, the top notes on this is peach, wormwood, freesia. The middle notes is rose, sandalwood, iris, and the base notes is musk, cashmere wood, vanilla, and amber. So let's go ahead and spray this. That was just so many perfumes. I'm so excited, but at the same time, I just want to get through all these perfumes. And it's already been like 27 minutes, dude, seriously. But I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited to be doing this video. So I sprayed this on my other leg. I sprayed the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one on my left leg and this one on my right leg. Not that it matters, but I love this perfume. This right here smells like fresh out of the shower, summertime, just squeaky, squeaky clean. <laughs> like legit, I feel like it's, it's a cleaner scent than Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue and the Aqua de Gia Giorgio Armani those are clean scents this right here is like a squeaky clean scent like girl you if you wear this i feel and i feel like some some people be like they wear this and they walk past me and i'm like dang they smell good but i don't know what they wear but smelling this it kind of makes me feel like they're wearing this oh god it smells so good so i'm getting the um rose the iris the I don't really get the vanilla in here maybe when it dries down a little bit more I will Whew. oh yeah this gets a 9 out of 10 only because 
it almost smells like soap it smells really really good but it's just not soap but like shampoo but it's like the good the good the good expensive shampoo oh my gosh this smells so good you guys like nine out of ten i would wear this i would purchase this and i would wear it moving right along all right you guys the next perfume i got is what is this the only Dolce & Gabbana, the only one intense. I should have did this one after the Dolce & Gabbana, the only one, but this is the intense version. All right, so the intense version is in the black bottle, and I'll try to leave a picture up here above. But y'all, I've heard a lot of great reviews on this perfume, and mainly because they say there is coconut in there. So the main accords is white floral, my fave, vanilla, coconut, another fave, Woody, citrus, sweet, and fresh. So the top notes is Neroli, green apple, Italian mandarin. The middle notes is jasmine, coconut, orange blossom. And the base notes is vanilla, cashmere wood, and cedar. So let's see what she's smelling like. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. Okay, so you know what? I think this is the one I sprayed last night. I don't feel it was the only one. I feel it was the only one intense. Y'all, when I tell you I smelled this and I was like, I gotta get through. This is gonna be my signature fall scent. I'm so excited when fall comes around because I'm gonna purchase this immediately. E immediately. It almost reminds me of um, Dolce & Gabbana Garden. And they probably put the same notes in there um the doja and cabana garden has that coconut and you know almond milk i believe oh my gosh this smells so good dude this smells so good like this is a 10 out of 10 period nothing else to say if you love coconut scents you're going to love doja and cabana the only one in tents black bottle intense get it I know, I know I am moving right along the next perfume you guys this is Canto Magnificat I love how she put the the um, the description around so I know what it is that was so sweet oh my gosh okay let's look up the notes on this y'all this right here this perfume I've never heard of this in my life never so i'm really excited to smell this so the main accords is amber warm spicy woody sweet balsamic vanilla powdery smoky oh my gosh you guys <laughs> um the top notes is amber rose yelang yelang the middle notes is amber, cotton candy, sandalwood, and geranium. And the base notes is incense, benzoin, vanilla, sandalwood, patchouli, and musk. So, let's not talk anymore. Let's just go ahead and spray it. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna be completely honest I feel like this this is something I would smell on my grandma and I wouldn't even say that because my grandma has great well when she was here on the earth she had great taste in perfume and I'm not saying anyone who wears this doesn't have great taste I'm just saying this gives me like it brings back memories like maybe my granny on my dad's side will wear this like I feel like she's more into perfumes like this, but this smells really good. It smells really good. It smells better than the Chanel number no. five, which I I cannot stand that smell. I don't know how how you feel how you guys wear that, but maybe it'll grow on me later in life. But right now, it's a no for me. Um. So definitely, I'm, I'm definitely getting the sandalwood, that balsamic note that's in there. Incense, 
that's what it that's what it reminds me of like you're burning incense and you li literally get that in this perfume so if you like the smell of incense then you'll love this perfume because you'll be you'll be smelling like a walking incense so but this right here gets a five out of ten the next perfume you guys is the linterdit linterdit I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. Um, intense. So let's look up the notes. So I think I've smelled this in Sephora before and I really love this perfume. So the main accords is white floral, super rose, sweet, woody, fruity, citrus, vanilla, patchouli, and analic and amber. All right, so the top notes is pear, bergamot, tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine sambic, and the base notes, I'm sorry, the top notes is pear bergamot, the middle notes is tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine sambic, and the base notes is vanilla, patchouli, ambroxan, and vetiver. So let's go ahead and spray this baby. Ooh, yeah, I've, sp I've sprayed this and smelled this in Sephora, not Sephora, but Ulta Beauty. And I really like this, but my husband dislikes it because I think I think he doesn't like jasmine, you guys. This has jasmine in it. It's, it's very prominent to me. Almost get like a syrupy type of vibe from it. It's like a medicine syrupy type of vibe. But I personally, I love this perfume. I love the smell of this perfume. I feel it smells better on my skin than on this piece of paper. So this right here, the Linter it Intense. Oh, this is the Intense, no wonder. I feel it, I'll give this an eight and a half out of 10 because I feel it's a powerhouse and, but then I don't know. So I went into Ulta one day and I sprayed it on me. And then um, I went to a depart, the, there's a Ross beside Ulta Beauty and I walked inside of Ross and I walked past this girl and she she made a face like and I was just like is it the perfume dang I was like I don't know if I want to get the perfume because if it's making people's faces like that then we ain't trying to do that but I, I still give it an eight and a half out of ten I feel it's like a winter scent so I'm gonna leave it I feel it's like a jasmine like if you love jasmine floral scents like that i feel this perfume would be your go-to for those colder ones moving right along the next perfume you guys is tom ford metallic i smelled this perfume y'all and i'm just gonna go ahead and say this smells like play-doh and i'm not the first person to say that like when i first sprayed it before even watching any videos on it, immediately I thought, this smells like Play-Doh. And the only reason why I went to go smell it, it was because this one YouTuber who I watch was talking about it. And I was like, oh, I've never smelled that. So I went into Sephora and I sprayed the Tom Ford Metallic and yeah, it was it was a no for me. But I'm gonna go ahead and respray it and look up the notes and let you guys know what's in it. All right, you guys, so the main accords is vanilla, aldehydic, powdery, floral, fresh, balsamic, woody, musky, sweet, amber. The top notes is aldehydes, pink pepper, bergamot. The middle notes is heliotrope, hawthorn, lily of the valley. And the base notes is vanilla, ambrette, which is a musk mallow, peru, balsam, and sandalwood. So let's go ahead and spray it, even though I know what it smells like. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely smells like a metallic Play-Doh. <laughs> if that makes any sense, probably not, but that's what I'm getting from this, you guys. This right here gets a five out of 10. I'm, not, I'm probably not gonna go below five for any perfumes, but that just, it might as well be 5 out of 10 instead of 1 out of 10. But yeah, 5 being the lowest. And this is 5 out of 10. 
I feel like it, it's, it almost smells like a box of pencils, a box of crayons. You know those those boxes that you keep your crayons, pencils, color pencils, all that stuff in when you were in school, and you open it up, and you get that smell of pencil. That's kind of what this perfume smells like. So I feel like people probably like this perfume because it brings back memories of school and how, you know, they open up their um, pencil box and smell that. So. I mean, I feel I would I would wear it, but it wouldn't be my go-to. But yeah, five out of ten for that. The next perfume, you guys, is another one by Mugler. This is the Alien Sublime. I have mixed thoughts and feelings about this perfume only because I've heard so many people say that it's been reformulated X, Y, and Z. It's not the same. It's watered down. It's, it doesn't project as well. Blase, blase, blase. Um, I smelt it and I wasn't a fan. And then I smelt it again and then I was a fan. And then I smelt it again and I wasn't. So it's like, I'm like in between of how I feel about Alien by Mugler, the purple bottle. So let's go ahead and look up the notes. Okay, so this actually is the, um, it's like a ombre bottle so it's like gold at the top and then it transitions into white um the main accords on this is white floral citrus powdery amber vanilla woody sweet floral aromatic the top notes is lemon solar notes orange mandarin orange galbanum the middle notes is jasmine tiara flower orange blossom heliotrope cherry blossom the base notes is cashmere in white amber vanilla and vetiver this has a lot of notes it's a lot going on but let's go ahead and smell it i thought this was the purple bottle i don't know why maybe because it just says alien i didn't read that sibling part okay so it kind of smells like the purple bottle, but a little bit better to me. I don't know if this is a limited edition, but I would definitely wear this. Most definitely. It smells really good. But I feel like my husband is going to say, oh, it smells like a granny, blah, blah, blah. But no shade or no, no pun intended. I like this. This smells really good. I would give this an 8 out of 10. maybe a nine out of ten yeah i like this um let me see what i can get i get the jasmine those orange notes that are in there and close towards the dry down i'm getting that cashmere in and amber and vanilla so it's a lot of it's a lot of notes in this perfume but overall it smells delicious and wonderful and floral so like i said i love white floral so obviously that's probably why i like this one so much so yeah i hope i hope this isn't a limited edition because i might i might purchase that instead of that purple alien alien got it not that's not alien it's just regular alien i don't know child moving right along the next perfume you guys is by the by Narc narciso you guys can see it up here so let's look up the notes okay so i've heard a lot of a lot of great reviews on this perfume the main accords is musky white floral woody aromatic powdery sweet rose vanilla balsamic warm spicy whenever i hear balsamic i just feel like the actual balsamic vinegar i don't know if that's just me but if I hear that, that that note is in the perfume, I'm just not even going to bother it. But I have it here, so <laughs> we're just going to see what it's all about. So the top notes is jasmine, Bulgarian rose, orange blossom. The middle notes is musk. And the base notes is kumarin, cedar, vetiver, and patchouli. So let's see what she's talking about. Let's see why why everyone likes this perfume so much. Because I've heard a lot of great things about this perfume, but I've never smelled it. 
Hmm. I know I'm kind of getting I'm kind of just getting alcohol right now. Okay. So I do get the jasmine from the top. Get that musk. Let me see. So I think the um, this Canto Magnificat is kind of. I'm not a fan of this one, y'all. I'm sorry, I'm not. It's almost giving me this. This these these scents right here give me grandma vibes because it's just like it's just so strong and pungent. Like it's just like overpowering, and I think it's the musk. The the musk is very heavy in this. I would give this like a six out of ten. I will wear it, but I wouldn't like be feeling too weird. You know what I'm saying? Like I will wear it. I just it wouldn't be my go-to. I'm pro I'm sure probably probably let me just let me. This is gonna be the first one I spray in my skin, y'all. Let me see, cause I've I've been wearing perfume all day. I'm gonna spray right here. We gonna see what she smells like on the skin. I'm gonna let that dry down a little bit. Yeah, I'm trying to think of what it smells like. It's just, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm not a fan of that one. Not a fan of that one. My dad's calling. Oops. All right, moving right along, you guys. The next perfume I have is, what is this? Re Beyond Romance. Re Beyond, I guess this is, this is from Rihanna. It's Rihanna, you guys. Rihanna, not Rihanna, Rihanna. She even said it herself. I thought it was Rihanna too, until I heard her say, hi, my name is Rihanna. Oh, okay, this is RL. I'm sorry, you guys. This is Ralph Lauren. So that just goes to show I, I know absolutely Jack Diddley squat about the perfume world because I guess because there's like a strip kind of cutting the, the L off. So I thought it was re. But this is the Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren Beyond Romance. And so the main accords in this is fruity, sweet musky vanilla powdery rose citrus woody white floral amber it's got that white floral that your girl loves all right so the top notes in this perfume is raspberry mandarin orange bergamot the middle notes is rose de mai lily of the valley jasmine and the base notes is vanilla cashmere and white musk so let's go ahead and spray her see what she's smells like oh oh my mmm this smells so yummy oh my gosh where have I been? Oh, this smells this smells delicious. Like a sweet floral delicious. Oh. I kind of want to spray it on my skin, y'all. Oh wow. This right here. Excuse me, guys. So I definitely smell the raspberry in the opening. That that sweet raspberry. It is. This one is a sweet raspberry. You know, some some perf some perfumes have like a drier raspberry, but this is a sweet raspberry. And when I mean sweet, like if you're boiling raspberry with sugar, type of sweet. I get the rose, mm. and I get that vanilla and white musk at the end. Y'all, I give this a ten out of ten. Legit. 10 out of 10 I would definitely purchase this and repurchase it 
and not only that the bottle is pink and it's cute and I'm obsessed with pink lately so yes I might have to pick this up I might have to support Ralph Lauren though moving right along to the next perfume we have the what is this it says ZV this is her so obviously this is a perfume I've never heard of but I'm excited to see what it smells like okay so this is from the line Zadig and Voltaire Ooh, sounds fancy so the main accords is vanilla sweet woody lactonic balsamic powdery warm spicy soft spicy and musky um just it looks like I'm not wearing a shirt y'all it's really bothering me the top notes in this is pink pepper silk wood blossom jasmine sandback the middle notes is whipped cream vanilla chestnut and the base notes are sandalwood and cashmere wood so let's see what she's smelling like I've never heard of this I've never heard of this perfume so this is new to me ooh ooh so y'all mmm so I get the jasmine, the jasmine and the blossom in the beginning. I'm starting to get the whipped cream and vanilla. I think it's the chestnuts that's kind of throwing me off. And then you get the woody notes at the bottom. So overall, this smells really beautiful. This, I feel like this would work well during the fall, winter months, only because it's kind of like heavy and just very mm, it smells really good I would give this like an 8 out of 10 only because it's not my style um, I think because it's like a warm spice it has those spicy notes and I think the powdery I'm start, I'm really getting overall like a powdery scent and I'm not just a, I'm not a very big powdery perfume type of gal but I like this this smells really beautiful Eight out of ten for that one. All right, you guys, we're down to the last two. And let's see which one do I want to do first. Let's go. Let's do this Nobel La Danza, another perfume I've never heard of. Okay, y'all. So this perfume, this looks like a very unique, almost like Arabic type of perfume. It's probably an oud, but I don't know. The main accords in this perfume is vanilla, fruity, sweet, cinnamon, powdery, warm, spicy, coconut, fresh, citrus, and musky. The top notes, we have red apple, bergamot. The middle notes, we have cinnamon, cedar. And the base notes, we have vanilla, coconut, and musk. Now, let's see what she smells like. Oh, this smells good. Oh. Yeah. So in the beginning, you definitely get that red apple. Definitely. Oh my gosh. It smells like a delicious red apple. Mmm. Beautiful. I'm trying to see if I can smell the cinnamon. Cinnamon is starting to seep through. I feel like I want to spray this on my skin as well. Let me see. This, this one seems pretty clean. I ah, know. I hate when it sprays and then it just like drips out like that. I don't like that. I want it to spray. I'm going to wait for that to dry down. But you guys remember earlier I sprayed the Narciso on this... Uh, this area right here yeah I'm not a fan not a fan I did give that a 5 out of 10 so I don't like that 
All right, you guys, we're down to our last perfume. Bittersweet, bittersweet, y'all. Um, this one right here is from Tom Ford. This is the Tom Ford Noir. And let's see the notes. All right, so the main accords is earthy, rose, patchouli, warm, spicy, vanilla, woody, oud, floral, balsamic, and mossy. Okay. So the top note is saffron. The middle notes is black rose, truffle, floral notes. And the base notes is patchouli, vanilla, agar wood, which is an oud, and oak moss. So I'm really excited to try this one only because it's like an earthy. This is the first earthy one that I sprayed from this collection of samples. So off rip, I'm getting a cologne scent. And I, I actually feel this is a man's cologne. I feel like this is a, oh, okay, so this is unisex. This is for women and men, no wonder. Yeah, I feel like this is more for my husband. It almost smells like cinnamon, but there's no cinnamon in here. It's weird. Is there cinnamon in here? No, there's no cinnamon. Maybe it's that saffron, that opening saffron note, y'all. This smells very lovely. I feel like this would smell wonderful on my husband. But as far as me personally wearing it, I'm not a um, cologne wearer. I don't like men scented perfumes. You know what I'm saying? Those unisex perfumes. I'm not a fan. I want to smell like a girl. I want to smell like a woman. I want to smell girly. I want to smell pink. If that makes any sense. I want to smell like the color pink. And that Ralph Lauren, y'all, that smells like pink. Oh my gosh. This smells really good, though. It almost smells like one of the colognes my husband already has. I think it's like Spice Bomb. This kind of reminds me of Spice Bomb. He might like this one. I might give this sample for him to have. It's just a little bit in here, but he can have it. All right, you guys, so that just about does it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any of these perfumes, then leave a comment down below which one is your fave. And if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, let me know down below. And y'all, please don't forget to fo go follow my girl, Sunny Sense. You will not be disappointed. She is legit in the perfume industry world when it comes to, I mean, I don't know if she's a professional, but to me, she's a professional because she's just so descriptive when it comes to talking about perfumes and her perfume collection is just so unique and different and I personally love being different so definitely go follow oh, I'm sorry go subscribe why am I saying follow go subscribe to her channel the link will be down below for you so it's easy click click access and until next time oh you guys I almost forgot I picked this perfume up today I got a large size bottle because I literally ran out of the 1.7 full ounce my husband got me for Valentine's Day. So I went ahead and picked this up at Macy's and I'm obsessed with this. This has been my um, scent, go-to scent of the day. So I put aside my Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. I talked about that in one of my videos and I said that that was going to be my scent of the day. It was for a good week and then I kind of got tired of that scent because, I don't know, it's just too fruity. Too fruity for me. This right here is like fresh this is a perfect spring summertime scent i love this scent right here now i I've, I've talked about how i prefer this over the eau de toilette a lot of females like the eau de toilette better than this but me personally like i said i just like being different you know, i just like being different this one right here lasts a very very long time it lasts a very very long time and it smells uh, amazing i believe it's the raspberry that's in here that really just gets to me but anyways you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and if you guys haven't already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl and turn your post notification on so you can get notified when i purchase i purchase girl what let me open this for you guys i actually want to spray this i'm just fiending to open it and spray it My sis put me on to the Versace line. Um, yes. I'm going to smell good for my husband. So my husband's getting ready to come home. I literally hear his motorcycle. But 
Y'all, I really thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully my vlog from New York will be up soon. I don't know what's going on with that loading. But anyways, you guys, I love you. And I hope you guys have a very blessed rest of the week in Jesus' name. And I'll see you guys in my next video.